Bye, Ligaya. You be good to Ate Elsie and Jane and Judith. Mm hmm. Let's do this. My boy squad. Japan, here we come. <laughs> Every time I leave the Gaia, I feel heartbroken. Like, I feel so sad. But I shouldn't. You know, um, initially I did. Like, when I got the Gaia, I decided, okay, you know what? Traveling will slow down. Then I had that mind blowing chat with Bird Tricks, professional bird and parrot trainers and performers. They completely changed my mindset. They basically said, you know, you should live your life normally, especially now that she's young. You know what I mean? She's like learning to live life and get her used to change. So, she said travel and be guilt free. Um, she'll be able to handle it. And this way the bird will get used to your lifestyle and adapt to you, the owner. And in doing so, they'll grow up to be a more confident bird. Like if let's say you're around the bird 24 seven, seven days a week. And then like a couple years later, you gotta leave for like a month for whatever reason. Cause you know, life happens, whatever. And then your bird freaks out with you being gone because all of a sudden insecure without you there. So you don't want that. And Jamie Lee and Dave taught me that. And and it kind of changed my perspective. So sometimes gotta leave randomly for Japan. You know what I'm saying? By the way, guys, my name is Mikey Bustos. This is RJ Garcia. Welcome to the channel. This is daily vlogs of positive vibes for you guys. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. It feels right. Join the family mm -hmm. and leave me a comment. Here's the deal. We're being invited to Japan by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan, <gasps> right? Okay, so like the government of Japan invited us to come check out Tokyo and other areas of Japan to vlog and show you guys what Japan has to offer. Mm -hmm. We'll be gone for seven days and I expect this is gonna be a pretty epic adventure, Mubuhai Squad. What do you guys think? Now, Lagaya is never gonna be alone for extended periods of time. She will always have Ate Elsie there, um, as well as RJ sisters, Jane and Judith. They will be there every single day mm -hmm, to keep her company. And I am watching her now in the cage. She's eating breakfast. Oh my. We were just talking, and apparently, this will be the longest I've ever been away from her. Seven days. Seattle was five days. Okay. Our bird must grow up. I've also been toying with the idea of possibly getting the Gaia companion, guys. Now, you know me, I won't get it on the spur of a moment. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's some a bird is given to me, but I'm gonna think long and hard about getting the Gaia companion soon. I mean, eventually, when we move to the Mubuhai Squad farm, of course, we have a six meter by six meter, three story tall aviary. We will be getting more birds. But um, I've been thinking about possibly getting the Gaia companion. One, because I don't want her to grow up to be a one bird bird. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want her to grow up thinking, oh, I'm a human, and then all of a sudden a bird comes into the picture and like her life is turned upside down she's scared whatever I want her to get used to living with other birds and playing with other birds mm -hmm. and to like you know so she has a companion to play with when I'm not around so I don't know what do you guys think I don't want to get another bird just to get be her companion you know what I mean but anyway I, I have been toying with that idea possibly a medium-sized bird to a small bird I could probably fit a cage in one area of my condo it'll be really cramped but I have been thinking about that what do you guys say and right now the Gaia is like the queen <laughs> you know what I'm saying I want her to remain the queen I don't want to be getting like a bunch of like major pets and then the Gaia suddenly becomes ignored no I don't like that I, I'm not that kind of pet keeper I'm I'm okay having just few major pet right and investing all my love and money and time into those few major pets as opposed to having like a huge menagerie of like hundreds of animals. Watch me later on get hundreds of animals. <laughs> So this is one of the birds I've been looking at. Beautiful, gorgeous bird I've always wanted. It's called a Pionis. This one's a bronze wing Pionis. And look at how gorgeous that is. Sure, it's not brilliantly colored, but like if you look at its body, it just looks just so beautiful. Almost like a, a hawk. I mean, it's smaller than an African gray, but not tiny. Um, and what I love about them is they apparently bond to many members in the family. I like that. Um, and apparently they're also not extremely noisy. This one is named Kippy. <laughs> 
from Holland and it's just so adorable. Gorgeous colors guys, gorgeous colors. And then I also ask myself if I'm willing to undergo that whole hand feeding process again. OMG, seriously, <laughs> like the whole weaning, I'm not sure. <laughs> It's hard. I mean, it's like raising a child, really. So um, that's another thing I gotta think about. Like maybe getting an already weaned bird. But will it mean that it might be less as like affectionate and close to me as Ligaya is? I don't know. I bet no, but you know, something to think about. I got here before RJ because I had no line. Like literally, it was just, I'm hungry, I need breakfast. All right guys, now I know a lot of you guys are used to this place, I always take you guys here. All of this is free, it's basically for people who have membership or you know, those loyalty points. At a certain level, you could just come here and avail of this lounge while waiting for your flight. Okay, so we got Japanese shomai, Mini pork shou pao. Oh, yum. Dumplings, guys. Sandwiches. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna some these, but I'm not gonna eat the bread. Oh, for sure. Gotta get this for my coffee. Need some butter, you know what I'm saying? Look at these drinks. Fresh fruit. Ooh, buko pandan. Oh, yes. Earl Grey Panna Cotta. Now we're talking. You got fresh noodle soup. They can make it for you. Salad. Mmm. Salama. Thank you. Mmm. -hmm. Yes, I get it with no noodles, but look, now I get to add garlic, yes, spring onions, and some sauce. Mm. Yes, can't wait. Oh, by the way guys, wearing the merch, flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings. Be sure to visit our Teespring shop to pick up your merch, your Mabuhai spot merch. Alright guys, butter and coffee, you want to see the best, no crash. Yeah. If you guys haven't tried butter and coffee, you don't know what you're missing. It's better than sugar. You won't crash. There are videos on it. I believe they actually sell it in coffee shops now. I've been doing this for years, but it's called bullet coffee, I guess. If ever I do crash, it'll be because it is. <laughs> if you're drinking coffee and if you have caffeine, don't have sugar or carbs. Otherwise you'll crash, trust me. Mm. Oh yes, it tastes delicious. All right, let's try this soup. Oh yes, mmm, so good guys, this soup. Got little pieces of beef in there, lettuce, cabbage. Mm. Welcome, RJ Garcia. All right, Jaya, would you care to place a map of Japan here? Yes. All right guys, so where we're flying to now is not Tokyo. We're flying to the city of Fukuoka, which is the capital city of Fukuoka prefecture. Yeah, we're flying here. Spend a couple of days there, I believe, then we'll fly on to Tokyo and explore Tokyo and like surrounding regions. This should be fun. Arjo, what are you eating? Aros caldo. What are you looking forward to most in Japan? The food. Yes. Also looking forward to the food, like, of course, the sashimi, but their desserts. Guys, Japanese desserts are so good. Seriously. Mmm. Mm. Mm. All right, guys, I believe this is a three or four hour flight. Not too long. But look at all this space. Even more space than business class. We always try to get exit row. It's only a three hour flight and I have a choice between Bohemian Rhapsody or A Star Is Born Lady Gaga. The choices are so hard. <gasps> Which one? Oh no. Um, 
Maybe on the way back, I'll watch Star Wars Bohemian. Let's watch Bohemian Rhapsody. Because Queen came first before Lady Gaga did. OMG! OMG, guys, I love Freddie Mercury. And I love Rami Malek. Such an amazing director. The Serving lunch now. See that? Fish, shrimp, veggies. Mmm. Strawberry panna cotta fish. Mmm. Pickled vegetables. Fukuoka, Japan. Yes. It's, it's kind of cold. It's cool. It just reminds me of like springtime in Canada. Ooh, wonderful. Trust me now we're here. Alright. Oh, awesome. Hello, hi. Yes. Yes, yes. Nice to meet you too. Alright. Okay, so from here we're gonna take a two-hour car ride to Nagasaki, which is where our hotel is. Um so we gotta go to the bathroom. But guys, I wanna vlog the bathroom. Bathrooms in Japan, crazy futuristic. OMG, hole in the ground. Okay, with instructions. It looks like a sled. <laughs> All right, um, or you can have toilet seat with various buttons, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm just gonna do the normal urinal. <whistles> OMG, what is this? So? Oh my. And then, how does the soap work? Oh, you just press it. Okay, it's like in school. Awesome. Oh my gosh, the water is freezing. <gasps> I have frostbite. Guys, I'd like you to meet Nami. Yes, who works for the travel agency, which is mandated by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan uh, for this entire trip. Yes, Mugoi Squad. Meet Nami. <laughs> she was like, Nami, like tsunami. <laughs> Guys, and we have more friends here. What are your names? Are you? And. Hey. and Georgia. Awesome. And where are you from? Japan. I'm from Japan. From Japan. Yeah. Hey, listen, you guys are so lucky to live here in Japan. What's your favorite thing about Japan? Everything. Food. Everything. Food. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. All right. OMG, it's cool. <laughs> this is definitely like spring weather. Woo! 12 degrees. Okay. I know all you fellow Canadians are laughing right now because 12 degrees is great weather. But like when you stay, when you're coming from a hot country and you step into, say, the freezer, you know what I'm saying? Or, or a cooler air conditioned room, it gets chilly for a bit till you adjust. Guys, I'd like you to meet Mr. Moriyama, our driver. Yes, nice to meet you. Wow, guys, look at this. Lucky group. This is our car. More like a mini bus. What? Seriously. All right. Not bad, Mabu High Squad. Only the best, right? For us. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Where are we going to sit? Are they, like, there are no seats available. Seriously. <laughs> wow. Automatically closing door. Oh, this is one of those countries where the wheel is on that side. This is amazing. Everything is very clean and very organized. Everything is in order, you know? Everything is in order, yes. Japanese people have very good discipline, I find. Hi squad so we're here to take a pit stop and you guys won't believe 
what this pit stop is. It's just crazy. Japan is incredible. Check it out.